Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tom back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale game, but he is the My Team Unlimited reward. A 6'10, 210 pounds, 93 ball, 85 driving duck, 86 ball handle, 95 block, 88 perimeter, a 95 interior defense, great rebounder, 87 speed, as well as at 88 lateral quickness. So, as far as the complete center, or power forward if you want to play in there kevin McHale is that 95 driving dunk tendency happened on down to the defensive tendencies which are just absolutely ridiculous as well 17 dollar fame badges catch and shoot corner specialist rim protector box defensive leader heart crusher intimidator moving truck rebound chaser post move lockdown tyler spender trapper worm as well as brick wall 26 gold badges clamps interceptor also comes with needle needle threader clutch shooter hot zone hunter hot start range extender tyler shooter volume shooter and silver diamond as you guys can see no badges have been applied to kevin McHale. so badges that i honestly would look to apply to kevin McHale, you're looking at slippery off ball possibly flexible release quick first step possibly you need showtime on kevin McHale. that's the one thing he doesn't have on this account that's the first badge i'd apply to kevin McHale. showtime quick first step are the first two then you're looking at flexible release any sort of shooting badges honestly to just improve this kevin McHale card i don't think i've ever been more nervous to take a shot than with Kevin McHale right here. Like, I'm so nervous because I love everything about Kevin McHale. I love everything about this card. And it's really gonna determine whether I like his release or not. Like, that's gonna determine whether this Kevin McHale card plays for me. Because everything else about him is just fine. I get he doesn't, his base card doesn't have quick first step, but he is going to be just fine. He, got, he does get Showtime dunks, so when you do apply that Showtime badge, he's going to be just fine. As you guys can see, I'm just out here dribbling because I'm scared to shoot with Kevin McHale. I just want to see some more Showtime dunks, some stuff that I know I'm going to like for McHale. All right, the time has come, Kevin. Let's see this release. I know it's a Trey Young base, which I don't really love. Let's see the hot spots. Not bad. Okay, I don't okay i'm fine with that release you know what i'm look, you know what kevin McHale? you know what hold up let's see okay i'm fine with this release it is kind of gross okay it is kind of gross but at the same time it's kind of green i don't know how to describe it it's gross but it's green like it does kind of remind me like it's obviously the trey young base but i do like his upper like i like the way he cocks back the ball and i don't know man i feel like i i really truly feel like it's going to be a not terrible release especially from the corners when you can just see everything develop it should be absolutely knocked down and the more that you just get that timing down the easier it is going to be gr to to green from everywhere not just the corners. so i would say i'm higher on his release than i thought i would be I, that's what i will say now is it the best release in the game no i don't think so but it is quick it's pretty easy to time I just think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I really, truly do think that's going to be it. But if he has this release, you apply quick first step. You give him showtime dunks. He is going to be very tough on the offensive end. Hopping into a gameplay with Mikhail. I'm actually super, super excited to use the card. We're up against Jace Williams, Jay Rich, Connie Hawkins, Larry Nance, and Big Shaq. It's going to be very interesting to see how Kevin Mikhail battles Shaq. Like, that's something that I'm personally intrigued in because it's just a battle. I mean, they're just complete opposite players. You know, Kevin Mikhail, obviously isn't as big as Shaq and, and stuff like that but he can battle him with his badges and stuff I feel like he is definitely going to battle him very very well very very well out to Mikhail first release of the game I was slightly early on but I'm fine with that it's going to take some time some getting used to his release uh just because it's kind of unique his release is very very unique but as you guys can see just look at Mikhail's wingspan like I noticed that when he went to go block that shot his wingspan is just absolutely ridiculous come here oh yeah Kevin back to him there it is that's what i'm talking about the green light right there his release is very quick easy at a time and it just puts so much pressure on the defense knowing he has that release another pick and pop with kevin McHale. And the thing is if you run him with Dwayne wade gary payton players like that it's gonna be so tough because just look at the look at the pressure i don't even have quick first step wow i don't know if he got bailout or not but that was kind of crazy pass there for kevin McHale. i'll take it nonetheless Uh oh that's not the guy you want to leave trust me when i say that he's getting blessed that i'm missing shots right now all right where's kevin come here we got to figure out your release my boy i gotta get it figured out i can't keep whiting shots with you like that's a good shot i just gotta start greening consistently with you oh yeah same thing like i just feel like he's disrespecting kevin McHale. like maybe it's just me but i just feel like he's consistently leaving him wide open come on chill patient Bro, can you just, all right, chill. You got Jason Williams on you. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Body him, Kevin. That's what I'm talking about. There you go, Kevin McHale. Nice drop step right there. Now we got something rolling, man. He's staying attached to Kevin McHale on every single possession. And now I'm starting to start to figure it out. Good, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Look at him take a few dribbles. Hey. Peekaboo. Mm, that's tough. If Kevin McHale can do that, ooh, boy. That's a very tough look there off a of peek from Kevin McHale. McHale started to get it going. He really has. That peekaboo was nice to see for Kevin McHale right there. Good. Into him. That's a... I don't know what type of animation is. I'll take it nonetheless. Oh, yeah, that's me. Look at the wingspan from Kevin. Bro, why are you standing out of bounds, Dwayne Wade? There's no reason I should have turned the ball over there. 2K literally made me. Look at Mikael. Can you grab a board with it? Oh, my. He has takeover. Let's see. Who's going to step up? I missed. That's tough. I want to... He's going to be a lot better, I feel like, when you give him that quick first step. Because until then... It's just going to be tough for him to get the separation he needs. Mikhail does have takeover. I mean, he played fine in the first quarter. It's just all about finding my comfort level with him. And the thing is, if he wants to stay attached, that's fine. Stay. Uh-oh. No stay attached right there. That's a Showtime dunk once he does have the badge, too. And that's the thing. Without quick first step or Showtime, it's going to be tough to truly show, you know, showcase how he is, it's especially attacking the rim. You can still see, you know, his shooting ability and stuff like that on, dis on display. But as far as attacking the rim, you can't get the full ex extent of Kevin McHale without those badges. Out to him. Knock down. I'm early with him. When I miss, I'm early with him, I feel like. Like, his release sometimes right there, I felt like he got a load of it. I was just early with it. Come here, Kevin. Hey, look at Kevin McHale. 19 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 assist. And we're not even 6 minutes into the game. Strictly a pick and pop and great defensive player for me. That's my board, Kevin. Gotta be my board, and that's what I need to see. If you can snag rebounds over Kareem, that's showing me something. Hey, look at Kevin. Out to Bobby. Chill, patience. Oh, yeah, back into Kevin. Take it. Well, you better send bodies. You gotta send bodies because it's over with that Hall of Fame post bidding technician every single time. Run the floor, Kevin. Run the floor, Kevin. That's what I'm talking about right there. Running the floor for a big two-handed jam from number 32, Kevin McHale. Yes, sir. Kevin McHale coming over with the help side D right there. Like, quite honestly, he's playing good defense right here. Like, I can't even be mad if I don't score. Like, he deserves a stop. He deserves a stop. He didn't get it. But right there, he honestly deserved a stop. Kevin McHale is just too good. Easy free throw release to Green as well. He's just got it all. I do need to get my subs in the game at some point. Like, uh, Kevin McHale is exhausted. My whole starting unit is exhausted, to be completely honest with you. And look at Bobby Jones on the crazy rotation. Into a show at time slamming. How am I supposed to ever get Kevin McHale a break when he constantly has takeover? I wish he had a different takeover other than the one he has. But it is what it is. Look at Wade. And it's just, I mean, you if he wants to stay attached to Kevin McHale, he's going to have to live with something. And I guess that's the way Wade getting a dunk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's rattled now. I can tell he's rattled now. Who are you going to leave? Out of everybody on the court, you decided to leave Kevin McHale? Uh, uh, <clears throat> not a smart decision. Like, honestly, how am I supposed to get Kevin McHale a break? I want to honestly know when he is just doing... Yo, <laughs> what in the world, Kevin McHale? It's fine. Attack him again. I dare you. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do attacking Kevin McHale? He's got Hoff Intimidator. You don't know who you're messing with. Oh, yeah, Kevin. Stop. Pop. Oh, my word. Look at Kevin. Back to him. Green me. Another one. I found his release time. And let me tell you, ever since I have, it's been lights out. Like, what are you going to do? Like, Kevin McHale is not going to just get babied inside. With his defensive badges, that's just not what's going to happen. Can you just relax on, on Big Bro? Hey, Kevin McHale, oh, another yeah. and one. That would be gold showtime if you did give it to him. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Kevin McHale has more points than your whole team. And right before halftime, we did get a big rage quick. Kevin McHale had six rebounds. I don't even know how many points. Like, 35 points outside of the first couple releases with him, when which I shredded. I was straight green with him. He was doing his thing on defense. Offensively, was elite as well. I'm telling y'all, Kevin McHale is an absolute problem. 
We saw what Kevin McHale did in my team unlimited. Let's hop into a quick triple threat game to see how he is. Looking at my opponent, he's got a very, very solid squad as well. Both of us are running crazy squads. So this should be a very decent triple threat game. We're both running Ray Wade, both running Byron Beck. But he doesn't have Kevin McHale. So that might be the difference in the game, to be honest with you. I want to see what Byron Beck's dribble sticks look like. Like, how does he move? That's what I want to see. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Kevin McHale. That's the first slightly late I think I've shot with Kevin McHale. Like, everything else when I missed it had been slightly early. And so that's one thing. I was just trying to make sure I wasn't slightly early with him. And I shot my first slightly late. Oh, yeah. Look at McHale. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you going to do in the pick and pop setting? I got to know. How? Okay. You want to switch it? Hey, man. To each is their own. You want to switch the screen? That's fine. That's fine with me. Like, to each is their own. You can switch the screen. But if you do that, I will post you up every single time. Like, look at the attention Kevin McHale draws. Easy one over to Wayne Wade for a green light. Like, just look at him stay attached. Like, it's fine. Like, it's truly fine. It's just, I want to get Kevin McHale a look, and I just got to start taking my dunks. If he wants to stay attached, it is what it is. I can't hunt with Kevin McHale. There it is. Easy one in there for Kevin McHale. So worried about him on the pop that you get a pick and roll once in a while. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Everybody needs to relax right now. Like, everybody needs to relax. Kevin McHale, nice little Euro step making it happen. But that was just an awful possession. Everybody got, has to relax for me. All right, come on. Please try it. Send bodies at the way way. Do something different, man. It's too. He's making it way too easy on me. There you go. Thank you for sending an extra body. Ooh. Kevin McHale, you're selling me. Come on. Oh, yeah. There it is. Stop on a the break. There it is. Look at Kevin McHale. I just said he was selling me. Got a steal and pulled up for three. Kevin McHale had an all-around solid game, but what doesn't show up really outside of Dwayne Wade going perfect is how much attention he gets and how open Dwayne Wade was on a consistent basis because of it. I was honestly super impressed with this Kevin McHale card. He's honestly about what I expected though because I was super, I've been super high on the card. He's got a 93 ball, got great shooting badges. The one thing I will say is if you get this card, you're gonna wanna put a couple of badges on him. You're gonna wanna put Quick First Step on him and you're going to wanna put Showtime on him. With those two badges alone, he is going to become a lot better. He just will with those two badges. Obviously, even outside of that, Kevin McHale is not fully complete, right? He's missing some finishing badges, missing some shooting badges, obviously some playmaking badges, but he's still very, very solid, no doubt about it. And in my opinion, a top three big man in the game. You got him, you got guys like Blake Griffin, and you got guys like Boogie Cousins, those types of players. Uh, Chris Webber's another guy, Will Chamberlain, uh, Bill Russell. There's a lot of great big men in the game. But as far as a complete all-around big man, I'll throw Kevin McHale in that top three debate as long as him and Blake Griffin are probably my top. And then after that, you know, you can make the debate. But for me, Kevin McHale was very, very solid. The one thing about it is without quick first step in Showtime, I wasn't able to, you know, do what I do with Blake Griffin, for example. But I'm very, very intrigued to get him on my own account, badge him out, and use him myself. Very, very solid card in the game. Is he worth grinding for Unlimited? And for the first time, I'm going to say yes. It's a lot of games, but I do think Kevin McHale is 110% worth it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Kevin McHale down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.